Welcome to YouTube Excel Lookup Function Series number three. Hey, if you want to follow along by downloading this workbook, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Lookup Function Series 1 to 15. Hey, in this one, we're going to see how to use the lookup function to deliver a value to a formula. Hey, what we're going to do here is we need to multiply one of these percentages times this 500. But the percentages are dependent on how many days late the customer is. So this customer is 89. So it looks like they'd have to be charged 3%. Let's do the VLOOKUP first, and then we'll uh, multiply it by the balance and see how to use that in a formula. Equals VLOOKUP. And the VLOOKUP has four parts, of course. We need our lookup value which is going to be that cell right there, 89. We need to look that up and then race down the first column of our lookup table, find the first value that's bigger, jump back to the next line, go over to the second column, get the 3%, and bring it back to the cell. I'm going to put a comma because we have our lookup value. Then it wants the table array. You simply highlight the table, comma. Remember, it's got to be assorted in ascending order when you don't have exact matches. And we don't have an exact match. We want something approximate. Then we got to put a comma in the column index. This is the first column of the table. This is the second column. So I'm going to type a 2 here, which says, please get whatever percentage is appropriate and bring it back to the cell. Then I'm going to put comma, and it says true or false. Approximate match is 1 or true. False is exact match. We don't have an exact match here. These aren't words or something like that. So I'm going to put a 1. That actually is the default. You can leave that out. Close parentheses. That 1 says we'll find an approximate value. Again, it's going to take the any 9 run into the first value that's bigger, jump back to the next row. I'm going to control enter. Well, we got our 3%, but that's not really what we want. So I'm going to hit F2. We want to put our cursor between the equal sign and the VLOOKUP. Click on this cell right here and do your multiplication symbol. There it is. The VLOOKUP is delivering a percentage to this late charge formula. I'm going to hit Control Enter. I'm actually going to make that a little bit bigger and then hit F2, F2. Look at that right there. So it's looking here, multiplying that balance times, and it's using the days late. Looking at the table, taken from the second column, and bringing that 3% back to this formula. Hey, I'm going to control enter and go to evaluate formula to look and see how Excel sees that. I'm going to go to formulas, formula auditing, and evaluate formula in 2003 and earlier. It's tools menu, formula auditor. I'm going to hit my keyboard shortcut that works in both versions, Alt T. I'm going to hold the Alt key and then hit T U F, Alt T. Tough, alt tough. There it is. I'm going to click Evaluate, and it's going to look at that. Ooh, that's 500. Then it goes to the VLOOKUP, and it's got to get that lookup value, 89. Then it knows that that's the second column. It's an exact uh, approximate match, so now it's going to evaluate these VLOOKUP. There it is. That's how the VLOOKUP delivers a 3% to a formula to calculate a late fee. I click uh, Evaluate, and we see that it's $15. Close. All right, see you next. Lookup function series.